In 2004, I was looking for a subject for my diploma thesis and bumped into Muirplastik at a trade fair. There I saw energy chains at the booth and developed a certain curiosity and affinity for the product. Now we have grown into a team with experienced members, together with young, dynamic colleagues. I've been at Muirplastik for over 15 years. I've been here for 13 years. I've been working for Muirplastik as a product developer for about 10 years. My affinity for the technology probably comes from playing Lego as a child. For me, Muirplastik is a family. I was then exclusively traveling abroad for 11 years, promoting the company business worldwide. I learned a lot about the company. My enthusiasm for energy chains increased every year. Energy chains have been used by Moore Plastic for several decades now. Energy chains have the task of routing and protecting cables, wires and hoses. They are indispensable for machine tools. When you have machines in operation around the clock in several shifts, the systems simply have to work properly. Pipes for air, water and oil will always be in demand. That's why energy chains will still be around in the next 20 years. These are simply things that you can touch. My dream then was to develop the perfect energy chain and bring it to market. So the first thoughts on this new project were, this is going to be a big challenge. The goal was to bring our strongest energy chain series to the next level. With this project, we charted new territory. We have never before tackled a technically challenging project quite like this one. It should incorporate all the customer's wishes, easy to install, quiet when running, a durable, stable chain to achieve better unsupported lengths. Simple repairs were an important criterion and everything should be intuitive, like most things these days. We don't only pay attention to the technical backgrounds, as important as they are, but also to the appearance. The demands were high. In the beginning, nothing really sold me. We spent a lot of time devising new concepts, only to then discard them when they did not meet our goals. And first of all, we had to present our entire know-how. Just imagine, there are over 1,400 different variants. From the first meeting to the finished product, it was a long time. But the team never gave up, and to be honest, I wasn't easy on them. There were doubts, sometimes occurring in phases. We could meet our ambitious goals. An error occurring in the development process is associated with a lot of effort, costs and time. When the first parts were then on the table, it was clear to us that we couldn't put the solution on the market as it was. The project ultimately went through many highs and lows before it was ready for series production. At the same time, I tried to keep the creative scope at a very high level. This was always an area of tension due to cost considerations. As a business person, I obviously see optimization potentials in the price. It must become cheaper. We test for durability and quality. We have already developed a large number of energy chains. Now though, we got together to perfect all of this in a single chain series. The ideas then came from everywhere at some time, in the team, in discussions, by trial and error, at home, during sport, from everywhere. Basically, our whole developmental power was fed into the single energy chain. So the ideas of young and old alike have resulted in a new product, a great product. And this has resulted in us constructing the production tool. And this was indeed a historic moment for me. The highlight was when the first components came off the machine. It's like a baby being born. Even our families know for certain that we have achieved something great here. It's the small details that make the chain what it is. I'm confident that in the end there are no loose ends, otherwise we'd never have realized the product as it is now. My first impression of the chain was wow! I'm convinced we have succeeded in evolving the energy chain. Of course, Avoline is not only meant to please us, but primarily our customers. <laughs>